Hello and welcome back to another beautiful Friday night. I am back in Bologna and today we are going to the Christmas market here in the city and maybe see a little bit of the town as well. Coming up. So because Bologna is a larger city, there are actually a few Christmas markets here and I just happened to come across one a lot sooner than I thought I would. Just right over here. Let's go check it out and see what it's got. This is not the main market that I've been headed in the direction of, but I mean, we're here, so let's check it out anyway. It looks like phone cases and lower cost clothing. Socks for two euros. You know, the more of these markets that I visit, the more that I kind of feel like, is it really just the same thing, just in a different location? I remember also some students of mine when I used to teach English in Alta Wadi, they complained that the markets now, at least up there, but I would also say it applies to here as well, that they're commercialized and you don't see as many of like the unique items that you would see in some places that you used to in the past. But I mean, hey, there's still some really good looking food. Ain't no doubt about that. But the market that I'm aiming for is called something like the French Square or the French Christmas Market. So I'm curious to see what the difference is between the Italian Christmas markets and Ferrara, Rovigo that I've already visited. Rovigo is very small. I posted about that on Instagram. But I'm curious to see what this French influence on a market might have. Is it French food? Is it like French kind of decorations? Or is it just called French? So let's go check this out right now. I'm on the Portici here. And it's a nice cool day. I don't have my gloves on now, but it's cold enough that they would definitely be useful and helpful. <laughs> so I'll probably put those on the next few minutes if it gets a little cooler. But it's actually a little bit warmer here than in Rovigo. Uh, I think probably because in a city with all the cars and cement, maybe, might make a difference. Maybe I'm wrong. And it's not a Christmas market, but I just happened to run across this little antiques market just here. Yeah, I would say it's a nice small little market. I am looking for something in particular, but I haven't really found anything like it here. So definitely worth, worth uh, checking out. There's some interesting things there. You don't really see thrift stores out here so much. Even like when I was uh, on the train here, I was just curious to see if there might be, but there's some things that are kind of similar to what seem like pawn shops, but not quite like antique stores or thrift stores. There's, there are antique stores, but not easy to find. But it's definitely quite nice to walk through this city. It's very pleasant chill, crisp day. You do see in Bologna maybe a little bit more poverty and um, a little bit of sketchiness walking around than uh, some other places kind of in the Veneto, at least in my opinion. Uh, but it really depends on what streets you're on, but you do see a lot of homeless people and beggars out. It's really sad to see. And it's so sad that it's just like, it seems like there's a lot. Even I was walking around one day and I saw some people passing around needles and stuff. Not to say that like, oh, don't come to Bologna, it's dangerous. It's like, you go to New York, you go to any city, you'll find all this kind of stuff. It doesn't really matter where you are in the world. Italian cities are no different than any other, except for that they're in Italy. So they're very different. <laughs> looks really good but I've got to make it to the Christmas market because that's not what I'm looking for <laughs> So 
So again, we're not at the market I was originally aiming to go to, but this is a Christmas market nonetheless. It's just a little side street here that has got a Christmas market with all of the normal goodies that you see. We'll quickly go through here. And one thing that's interesting for a lot of you, they charge by the weight here, like leeto means by the 100 grams, like you get your name engraved on keychains and things. Well, that was interesting to get to see. I didn't go into so much detail showing you guys everything there because I've shown a lot of this stuff before in older videos of mine, like Christmas markets in the past. So be sure to check those out. And you can see that there's a lot of similarities. It doesn't seem to matter, at least from my experience thus far, really where you go. But if you're looking for a Christmas market, because they seem to, at least in the north, be quite similar. I would say my favorite would probably be in Merano or Milano. Bolzano is great, but it's not quite as nice as the as the Merano one, but it's still really nice. They're very on par, but I just prefer the Merano market a little bit more. And now we are getting up Christmas tree. It's getting to look a lot like Christmas. And so right now we are just off of the main Piazza Maggiore and I've got <laughs> this beautiful Christmas tree behind me. It's really nice. Slightly lopsided, but it's nice. <laughs> I don't know if they do the same thing here in Bologna, but in Rovigo, I just found out they'll only cut down trees that would have fallen down otherwise. So I need to figure out where I need to go. I have a feeling it could be up this way because there's all this writing up here. Maybe it's up this way, but I, from the map, I got the feeling as though it could be more in kind of that direction. Maybe it is time to pull out the good old Google Maps. Must be a poem. All right, so I just tried to look on the map, but because this street is so thin, the GPS is really doing me no good here, which is not uncommon in Italy. I've had this problem plenty of times on this, on these tiny little streets. Although this one's actually, as far as the tiny streets that I've been on, is not so tiny. I would say this is actually a pretty wide walkway with a lot going on. But, but I think I need to head in this direction. So it would seem, according to Google Maps, I was actually going in the right direction. Cool. I'm really curious what's there and I'm like so hungry right now. I could totally go for like something just hot, meaty, potato-y. I wonder what they'll have. But from everything I had seen and heard about it, I thought it was gonna be a bit larger. Maybe looks are deceiving, but let's check out what they've got. <laughs> Immediately I am smelling some yummy deliciousness and I am definitely seeing some of that as well. Ooh, sausages. Looks like pork. Ooh. That's definitely something I'm in the mood for. Let's see. I'm gonna have to try that. What's nice is that there seems to be a lot of food here, or maybe it's just this little beginning part, but all I'm seeing right now is food. This is more Spanish. I want Italian or French. Wow. This all looks so good. Oh, up here, I think they're called Moretti or something? Yeah, Moretti di Cioccolato. And what they are is that they're kind of like marshmallow fluff inside of chocolate. They're so good. And they have all different kinds of flavors. They sometimes have different flavors of the kind of marshmallow on the inside. 
strawberry with chocolate. Sometimes it's just on the outside, sometimes it's also on the inside. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, and there's some more stuff over here. Let's check this out. Brioche al chocolato, so chocolate brioche. That looks amazing. Oh, so some French pastries. Eclair, Napoleon. Ooh, 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 ooh. Wow. Yeah, that all looks really good. <laughs> Definitely going to be eating here today. <laughs> they also do this in Milano. Maybe you've seen this before, maybe you haven't. But what they do is they heat up the cheese, they toast it on top, and then they just scrape it onto bread, like onto a ham sandwich. And ooh, 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 ooh. Nothing quite like it. You can get like a toasted ham sandwich, but toasted ham and cheese with the cheese that's just been glopped on there, something special about that. So you know, this market actually is a bit different than the other markets that I have seen before. There are definitely some things here that are very similar, but there's a lot of things that are just a little unique or slightly different like like you see Tarone all over the place but this looks like fudge almost yeah definitely a smaller market but it's fun again I'm wondering maybe a little smaller than Ferrara maybe just a tad or it's like roughly the same size which I'm really surprised about because Bologna is so much bigger than Ferrara but there's definitely a lot more food and a lot more like food that I'm like my mouth is watering over here and speaking of which oh, these look really good ooh, 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 ooh. very bacony kind of smells going on here streusel wow a long time since I've seen something like that before so now the tough part is what I'm gonna get I think I'm gonna try that like potatoey meaty dish that was over at that first stall. Or maybe one of those baguettes that I just saw there. Let's see, maybe if I can get like a small plate of the bag. Oh, there's more of the Christmas market up here. Let's check this out. Ah, French cookies. Waffles with chocolate. Ooh, Madeleine. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, so great place for date night. Come get some food, then something sweet after. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for those of you who love cheeses, you will have no problem to find some. This is the second place that I've seen here with cheese. Wines. So the quality here almost seems to be just a little drop higher than Ferrara. Definitely the food seems to be that one step above. But, I mean, we're just going to have to get scientific evidence just to really see if it truly is as good as it looks. Eh, qual è la differenza dal normale e piccolo? Ah, okay. Um, un piccolo, per favore, di questo. Ah, okay. Grazie. Grazie. E una... Oh, qua. Sì, sì, sì. Buon appetito. Grazie. Okay, so this portion... 850. Way overpriced in my opinion. The, the bigger one was 1150 and that seemed to be... Just potatoes. Let's see. I sure hope it's good. <laughs> this is definitely what I was in the mood for. Alright. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Very bacony. Very delicious. Would I get it again though? No. But it's really good. But I would say though, if you are going to be in Bologna around Christmas time, definitely come to check it out. It is an experience worth having. So maybe you're paying more for the experience, but at least walk through it. Try a little something here and there because these are going to be things that are going to be harder to find elsewhere. So overall, I'm happy I tried it, but 
a little disappointed in the flavor, gotta say. I think though I am gonna try this baguette with like the cheese and stuff on top because that looked really good. And then to finish off the meal, I'm not so sure. I don't know if I even really feel like having something sweet, but maybe just to share with you guys a little bit more of the experience, maybe I will. <laughs> Eh, un baguette savoyard. Sì. È un baguette. È un morbido o no? Eh sì. Sì, ok. No, non lo so, sì, è fresco o no fresco. Ok. È al massimo un'ora fa. Ah, ok. Grazie, buona serata, ciao. So I feel like I haven't had a baguette, like a proper baguette, in such a long time. I feel like it's something maybe I almost never see here. So I decided to give myself a little something, maybe make a sandwich or throw some Nutella on top. I never eat Nutella, but I feel like a baguette is a good reason to get like a little mini single serving size of Nutella. <laughs> For those of you who couldn't understand quite what the guy was saying before, he was like, I asked him like, is it soft? Like, I don't know, is it like, is it fresh or not? And he said, no, of course it's fresh. Like, it's, it was made today. Maximum, it was an hour ago that it was made. So, that's cool. Happy about that. So I got this baguette with potato, cheese, and bacon on top. It's a little bit warm. Mm. But again, a little underwhelmed. But maybe that's just me. I mean, I'm still eating it. <laughs> so, I don't know. I don't know if I've just been to too many of these markets and I'm just seeing the same things over and over again or what, but like I said, this one had some things that were a little bit different. Like I was able to get a baguette and so that'll be fun to enjoy. Not the greatest quality baguette, definitely. And you can definitely buy bread for much cheaper in this country and freshly made as well. The food, a little bit on the cold side. So yeah, I was a little disappointed by all that. So anyway. But while I'm here, you know, if I go around, there is a gallery close by, which is like really festive, which I think some of you may be interested in at least kind of getting an idea of and seeing. So maybe not all is lost. Just to kind of show you guys a little bit more of Christmas in Bologna. One of the things I thought was interesting, supposed to be a French market, but I did hear like one or two people throw out a couple French words. So that was cool. <laughs> Made it slightly more authentic, slightly. <laughs> Actually, and one place was playing uh, some French pop music, but overall, yeah, it was fine. I'm glad I came. Now I'm not wondering what it was. Definitely could recommend, if you haven't been to too many of these types of markets before, definitely worth checking out. But if you're coming to Italy specifically to go to a market, there are probably better choices that you could make. For example, Merano. But if you go to one of those places, then you really don't need to go to other places, even though those are German-style Christmas markets, not French. While there was some slight differences, I wouldn't say like, oh, this really came off to me like French, or it was just kind of like a Christmas market, a European Christmas market. But when you go to the markets in Alto Adige, you definitely get that feeling of German Christmas market. It is very clearly German. Anyway, so let's go here to this gallery. This is called Galleria Cavour. And this is like some of the highest end shopping that you'll find in the city. Louis Vuitton, Miu Miu. Is Miu Miu even a thing? <laughs> Gucci, which they're actually just right up here. <laughs> or, oh no, that's not Cartier. Montclair? I don't know, but definitely see Gucci. It's interesting. Very nice. That's without a doubt. Michael Kors. I've walked by the opening to this gallery a number of times, but I never noticed it until today. So it's really cool. I've heard about it before, but I didn't know that this was the location. Tesla, now that is funny. Was not expecting to see that. Huh. So again, just a little bit more of that Bologna Christmas feeling. I'm gonna walk around. I decided not to get anything sweet at the Christmas market, just because, again, 
underwhelmed, overpriced. <laughs> so I want to see if there's something that I can find here in Bologna that's maybe a little bit more kind of something that you could find more year round or at least a local place where if you were to come here when it's not Christmas time that maybe you could try as well if you're watching this video looking for some inspiration for your Bologna trip. With how filling all of that was, I wouldn't say I'd be too disappointed if, for example, I didn't find something, but I'm on a mission that is not necessary to complete. And we're just coming back to the main piazza, but on the other side, right next to the church. Well, you guys know I'm a fan of dark alleyways. This is not quite an alleyway, but it is a little dark. So let's go check out what is up here. I'm just wondering, that might be something sweet. Even though I've walked down here before, I don't know it too well, and I don't know the sweet shops all that well. There's a lint here. And I'm looking for something a little bit more local, something a little bit more Italian. Lint is delicious, don't get me wrong, but I'm not looking for that Swiss goodness today. I'm looking for that Italian goodness. I already had some French stuff. So let's bring it back to Italy. It's always nice to see when someone enjoys what they're doing, and clearly she's having a lot of fun. Now this is more what I'm talking about. Uh-huh. Very interesting indeed. Let's see. Hmm, 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 hmm. Difficult decisions to make here. Oh, Italy is right here. Maybe I'll see if I can find something at Italy. Hmm. Looks good, but. Looks. Nah. Not quite what I'm looking for. There is Venki here, but last time I went there again, it was like one of these places overpriced and underwhelming. So disappointing. <laughs> I'm in like the most touristy part of the city. I, I doubt I'm gonna find anything that I'm quite looking for. I mean, that one place back there did have some interesting looking stuff, but I'm gonna keep on tracking for now. So all in all, I'm not disappointed in the trip. I wish... It was a little bit more exciting, this market, but I still had fun. So thank you all for joining me on this fun journey here to Bologna today. And thank you so much to those of you who've been helping to make videos like this possible. It is truly appreciated. And for those of you who would like to help make more videos like this possible, you can go to rafaeldifuria.com slash Patreon to help out on a monthly basis or rafaeldifuria.com slash support just to help out one time. And for shirts, baby onesies, mugs, and more, it is just about Christmas time and it's never too late or never too early to get started with your Christmas shopping. So be sure to check out rafaeldifuria.com Com slash NYAG gear for items with Italy centric designs that help to make more videos like this possible. And of course, really thank you for joining me on another beautiful Friday night. I hope you guys enjoyed. And maybe this video helped to shape your opinion of whether you're interested in coming. So I do encourage you to come and check it out. And of course, as always, I'm Rafael Di Furia, aka Rafi Di is me. I look forward to seeing you all next Friday. Have a great one. Later. <laughs>